Okay, we are back in Pokemon Unite, ranked yada yada. So we don't exactly have the greatest of teams here, especially with the Potion Snorlax, but yeah. So I'm going to ditch the X attack here for the eject button. Didn't register. Oh well. So I'm going to be going for the sniper build here. Enemy team has the advantage, I'd say. Looking at the name to see if I recognize anyone, but I'm not. <laughs> By the way, you may hear the rain in the background. It's been going all damn day, and no sign of stopping. One final flood, I guess. So their Machop is invading the Absol. <laughs> that should be a winning match for the Absol 9 times out of 10. They are really aggro. Dude, help me take it. Some concerns about the Absol. Put it that way. Damn, he's down here. Didn't think he let me do that. He may just go bot. If he does, there's not really much I can do. So, let's dunk.
So right there, I just wanted to break his shield. There, Venusaur. Nope. Ah, <sighs> he's level 11, and I was solo farming, so that should tell you something. He's 5 7. Bottom lane fed and fed and fed. And then they fed a little bit more, for good measure. Yeah, we're done here. So had I been had I been able to ult, we would have turned that around. But the thing is, Snorlax can't CC shit. He went for the joke build. That's the on one, in case you're wondering. Seriously, Absol's too timid to leave base. Yeah, we're done. So while this is going on, they're still too scared slash stupid to go for Dreadnought. Like, I had them occupied. This was... it was free, but it's not free any longer. What the hell are you doing up here, man? <laughs> he still dies. So this one has no business being here anymore. You're only a threat if you have someone to stand in front of you, and you don't, so you're dead. So let's watch Venusaur kill it. Never mind. The final stretch! You can do it! I don't know if I actually hit anyone with that. So I killed their Gardevoir. Don't give up. And 
they threw in the towel. I think I did need to score points for my daily or weekly crap, so I do miss out, but still. I had to make this one so much more difficult than it needed to be. But in case you're wondering, the sludge bomb from Venusaur can slow down the Leaf Dancer. Holy crap, Snorlax sucked. So I told you he went for a novelty build, but that proves it. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, another rank game. So... We did an attacker. Thing is, with Greedent around, I don't think I'm going to be playing Defender too much lately. People still acknowledge Blaster is probably the best Defender in the game. We have a really, really garbage team right here. Okay, that's slightly better. I don't know, maybe I'll just do attackers today or something. I've played with that Talonflame before, I think, because that name sounds really familiar. The Venusaur, I think, was in the previous game. I don't really want to whip out the video to check. Hmm. So we just have to survive the Absol, I think. As is, this is looking to be a draining kiss game because both of them, well, all three of these are going to be trying to jump in on me. Also, with the pumpkin boxes being dropped daily, I guess it's a lot more reasonable to expect to be able to afford all this crap. I wasn't planning on buying stuff until near the end, but we'll see. Baby Doll Eyes should nerf its attack power enough to where I should win any trade. Yeah, he shouldn't be that aggro this early, man. So anyway, any camp will get us to evolve now.
Okay, you can stop screaming now. So I had to get five goals, which I'm going to get right here. out of here so I can do my ult again. You're on fire. Huh. Actually no, there's no sense in going back. We can see two bot. was the kiss that killed it. So I'm expecting someone to jump up here. He's a dragon rusher. Three levels on the board thing. Yeah, this is a beatdown. made that a little too easy for him. like no chance of making my ult up for the fight. I have to beat it down just due to sheer EXP. And am I... I'm tied for highest. Snorlax, I can't help him. Okay, we have Absol and Garchomp dead. Uh oh, that could be bad. Okay, they popped the Assault Vest. 
in reality, all we have to do is just hold them at bay and we win. Okay, we may have salvaged this still. I'll guard this one as long as I can handle the others. Venusaur's in the correct position. Bird is insane. But they may have given up. So yeah, Bird may have put us back in. Three, two, one. Time's up. You win. <laughs> that was a beatdown, man. Okay, so yeah, uh, both games were kind of stompy. I mean, this one, yeah, I kind of crushed the opponent. I don't remember how the Venusaur one went. So yeah, I can't blame Snorlax. He actually did the proper defensive crap here. He played his role like he was supposed to. So, I think I'm going to do a quick game. Okay, we're doing a quick game. So, the only free-to-play character I don't own is the one I want to play, which is Gengar. Now, in this place, I'm going to swap this out for... where is it? Specs. Basically, I'm going for a maximum burst. I'm going to be going for the Sludge Bomb Hex combo. And yeah, I have my daily stuff done, so this is just counting towards my weekly stuff, which I'm well into my route for getting. If I did all the weekly stuff today, then I would have the Gengar skin immediately, but I'm in no rush. We'll grab all the crap later. So, I'm trying to... there we go. <laughs> wow. So this is the Halloween costume, it costs like 16,000 tickets. I burned a lot of my stuff, so I can't Ready? buy it or anything, and even if I did, I'm content with my pit gear. Uh, I may have been better off with a Will-O-Wisp. So I do need to kill a Raquinid for my mission crap, and Regigigas, but we'll get to that. So unlike the Venusaur Sludge Bomb, this doesn't linger or anything. And I'll be able to take it faster after I go Gengar. Actually, I can get it now. So, yeah, drive by.
So, Hex hit something that wasn't stas affected, so it didn't get refreshed. But still, we got the Reggie Gigas, which is what counts. the other Araquanid. Super effective against bugs. Got it. So I'm just gonna loop around to go dunk these. I'm already max level for the Reggie Gigas. Gain a Raquinid. Still, we got two Regigigas, I think, so we'll look at the stats and everything. You win. So, yeah, we were all really close. Enemy team was all really behind. So to show you the weekly cramp, one of them I'm not a big fan of, but I got my two assists, my 80, I think I got the 80 points just my first game alone, I'm not sure. Five goals, that's why I was behaving the way I did in the Venusaur game, my 360 total, and my 18 knockouts. So eight ranked with a friend, so I'm going to be doing this with blue later this week probably. Not really a fan of it, but we'll see. Twelve games with battle items, that's... I'm getting that regardless. 10 wins, so I need 7. I played a uh, Halloween game with Blue, which you'll see in a sec. So, claim my rewards. So close. So let's see, that would be 300 left. Oh yeah. We'll get them in the next couple days. Otherwise, my login bonus. The daily missions, I did the ranked game here with you guys. Played the game with Blue earlier, got the pumpkin on dude's head, because that makes a lot of sense. I also did that during the game with Blue. Log in with the game, one battle, three battles, one win, two wins, played with Blue. So yeah, the Mammoth Swine thing is about to expire, and like I said, I have just no desire for it. So yes, we got two Araquanids and two Regigigas. Regigigas being the hardest one of the bunch, probably, to get. How much time do we have on the... just a week. What sucks for this is, due to the stupid Halloween mode, they don't have the event stuff up as much as they used to, so... Yeah, that... So I can get one upgrade... for Law 14. So I don't think there's anything else to do at the moment, so when we pick up next time, we'll 
make one more step towards Gengar, but we're probably going to have to wait one more day, I think. So let's see, at the rate I'm going, yeah, we're going to be looking at two days. Oh yeah, we'll have it for sure then. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.